What's up, y'all? How's it going? How you doing? I haven't been here in a while. I haven't been on YouTube in a long time making a video. It has been a century, but I'm here for you, here for myself, and here for whoever else is a long-term supporter. So, I'm going to show you guys a VC trick on NBA 2K21. Feel free to like, subscribe, all that stuff because you are going to like it anyway and you're most likely going to subscribe. So let me show you what softwares I am using right here. I'm using Cheat Engine, as I might put in the title, probably will. And I'm using this new one called Mod. Don't butcher me or anything. I can say whatever I want in any way I want because I am my own person. I am my own soul. Mod. These two softwares you will be using for the VC glitch. Now, I'm gonna show you guys from A to Z how it works and how you will be doing it. It's different ways, different things I might not show in the video, but in this video, you will see the full A to Z way of doing it. There's videos on this already, but people have been doing it with bad audio or no audio. So I'm here with good audio to great audio, and I'm going to show you guys how to do this. So you will be needing these. These will be down in the description for you guys to download. And just to show you guys right here, and I'll show you guys again before we start, the amount of VC I have ready, because I've been pressing it and doing the ways that won't work and won't work. So look at my VC right here. 34,327 VC. That is crazy. Crazy amount of VC. Now you can do this forever and ever. I want to do it maybe past 200K or 300K. I haven't done it that much. I've done it six times. So I don't know the limit towards it. One video was saying the guy has done it so many times. He hasn't been banned, but you have to watch how you would do it. And avoiding being banned. And if you want to get banned, do it like crazy. Not too sure on it, but this amount of VC I have, I'm going to end the program right here. And I'll show you guys, I'll just close it just to do it 100% all the way. Let's refresh. Let's get, uh, it's going to go black right here. I don't have that little thing. And then we will want Wii mod. Uh, I'm not sponsored by them. I'm just using them as this is so you can use different games on it whatever whatever through this you have to launch nba 2k21 one thing i tried is launching it without going through the application you have to go through the application to have the application connect so let's do this play it recognizes that you have nba 2k21 could be on epic games could be on steam whatever so let's let uh let's let it go through and i'll um try not to fast forward too much just so you guys believe it <laughs> but once you guys actually do it and comprehend what i'm doing you guys will understand that it's pretty simple and it does work i'm only doing this offline i will want to do this offline because i don't want to risk anything anything online me doing this with these characters through this video this is only for testing purposes only as you guys can see i'm not sure you guys any uh, game sliders or anything i'm sure you guys my my career this is only for testing purposes only i have a bunch of people trying to like vulture me try to do all this crap to me and they're trying to get me banned reported man get your head out the gutter get your head straight on and put it on a swivel because you don't know what's going to happen. If you're trying to do some bull crap to somebody, hey, some bull crap going to happen to you. Unexpected things are going to happen to you, man. Don't ruin fun. Don't ruin fun for anyone. Because this is for testing purposes only, and this is all for fun, right? Just to get some VC, you can put it towards. My team is VC. You guys should know what VC is. is virtual currency of NBA 2K. You can put it towards my team. Put it towards my league, my career, whatever you want to do. You can use it. You can use any build you want. Uh, through this, I'll be using my point guard for testing purposes only. So this is where I probably fast forward. So 
All right, you might get pop-ups, whatever. It depends on what my career you have, what type of my career you have, and how far you've been through your my career. That's in the game, in the coding, in the program. So uh, let's check it out again. I have the same amount of VC. I didn't add any VC. I'm trying not to cut as much as possible. Trying to fast forward so you guys believe it. Any possible way to make it seem like you don't want to believe, you'll choose that way. So try not to cut as much as possible. I'm going to fast forward as much as I can. 34,327, as I said before, two, three minutes ago, whatever, how long it was. And we are going to go into the first game. Just to show you the guys, we mod. This will stay as it is. I will probably leave these on this screen so you guys want to see. I'm not doing screen switching or anything. I'm just going to keep it on this screen. I don't want to. It's whatever. All right, so let's get into it. Um, before we start, you will need to have your difficulty on Hall of Fame. Um, if you don't want to, you get less VC, but you get a difficulty multiplier with Hall of Fame. And put on five minutes. You can put on whatever how the minutes you want just so you get the idea that I'm going to do and finish through the game as fast as you want, as slow as you want, whatever is your game. So over here, for me, I will keep this on Hall of Fame in five minutes. Don't touch anything with this mod on. I want to go to neighborhood. I want to go online. I would just stay offline and go through a game, whatever pop-ups you have, whatever animation you have right here, whatever. Go through it. Make sure it's on five minutes in Hall of Fame. Okay, so I'm gonna want to connect this. You can connect this at any time, really. Best time to do it. Um, I wouldn't really say a best time, but connect it right before you start your game. But the here is connected. All right, so go through this. You can be facing anyone. Any difficulty, any time, whatever you want, it's whatever. I'm undefeated because I'm nice like that. All right, so some mods you want to put on through Wii Mod. I will want to do for me personally. I will want to do F1 and F6. Uh, so if you try to click on it, you're gonna get a pop up. Ignore that. Pop up looks like this. Ignore it. Just press through here and it's only on pc i think i said it already it's only on pc it's not for console press f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 f6 f7 f8 f9 whatever f you want to press i'm gonna press f1 and f6 it's gonna have a little animation sound to it like that and then i got an f6 right here all right, so those are on just to show you again right here i'm trying to baby it as much as possible because people love baby youtube tutorials show you guys again i'm right here all right so what you want to do is score try not to let your other teammates score for you try to just go off see i'm supersonic speed right here just doing typical 2k bull crap and i scored right at the first bucket or the second bucket and then i could press f4 to just force it and i get the ball back first bucket or second bucket of two points you can really do uh you can do your cheat engine right here and i want to make sure i match the value of how many points i have so if i have two points i'm putting two as a value right here and do my first scan and you see it kind of pause right there because it's on the same screen it doesn't do that when you have dual screens any amount of points it could be free throws it could be two points it could be three points it could be two point and ones three point and ones it could be whatever you can have a double play we got a three and a two so you can do whatever you want as long as you get your points and i'll say exactly why you want to worry about points that's the easiest way um you will want to look at the memory now let's just force it let's look at this real quick i'm gonna turn this down a little bit mid game mid recording because i know i'm louder than this i was kind of speaking out loud so i'm gonna pause it explain some stuff in cheat engine you want to look at the memory as i was saying from before it could be any memory but you want to aim for points that's the easiest type of memory you can force and 
since I have four, let's go for four. I'll usually wait two, three buckets. Let's go for this. You're not pressing new scan, you're going for the next scan. They're just looking for memories that match almost exactly to what they look like here in the addresses. Memory addresses don't exactly match. They only mimic what they look like all the way to the last digit or last character place all the way to the right. Just worry about points. Worry about points. There we go. A1. Should be. <laughs> I can try to steal it, but if not, I just want to get the ball back as fast as I can. So I want to get as much VC as I can at four to get that back. My bad with the mic. Uh, let me get another bucket. Let me get another bucket. Let me go through this. So that's the main thing. Uh, next scan. Remember, it's our Hall of Fame. New scan for your first time. The next scan, every time you want to check on new memories and new memory addresses. <laughs> ah! Uh, okay. <laughs> Shook him out of his shoes. Let's get this back. Let's go, let's put in eight. So not, try not to look for other numbers. Try putting in the exact number that you have in points. Next scan. So if all these match like this, you can go for it. I would want to lessen it just to have a better chance. It's not being risky. It's really about matching the memories that you need for your points. So then once you go and do the next step, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna scroll over time and then just lessen the amount of addresses that I have right here. Any, any score so in this case it doesn't matter if they score as long as you can exclude your memory addresses from other people's memory addresses and other people's i mean the npcs ah it's a steal doesn't matter if they score either as long as you can specify what memory addresses you are so i'm kind of just playing right now i'm gonna want to score one bucket maybe two as long as all the memory addresses from here are yours. They're like nobody else's, so it won't mess up. So I'm trying to, I'm taking a little bit longer because I want to baby it for you guys. So, as I said from before, I don't want to go too fast because I don't want to rewind and, you know, so. Comprehension is very low on YouTube. Let's force it. All right, let me scroll one more time. All the memory addresses as I do a next scan should be all mine. Because at first it's looking for you. It's looking for two and four is looking for your addresses. I could have said that better, but it's fine. All right, let me force it. Do another scan and all this should be mine just in case. Especially if you haven't scanned in a while and something happens, it looks like this. It looks like it's in red. Now I might zoom in for you guys and all that, but yeah. Next scan. All right, so let's pause because a lot of things could happen and can mess up the memories that we got. All these memories are mine that are linking to my player and his points. That's the memory that is taken in the game that is taken on your computer. This is PC, same thing on console. We have memories too. So I'm going to want to select all these. You can change it when you add it to the address list. It doesn't matter. Put 3000, don't do 5000 because it does not work. It looks like you got the VC, but it doesn't add to your VC total in the menu. At 3000, you see my points, they changed to 3000 right there on the spot because cheat engine is so amazing. The version you might get might be higher than mine. It doesn't matter because it works with 6.8.3. I want to say the lower ones, most likely would work with the higher ones, the 7.1 you'll probably get. Let's add it here. Make sure you add it. And then you want to select do all of these. I'm doing, I'm clicking on one, clicking on the top, really. It's going all the way down, holding shift. That's how you select all of them. 
I have to explain every single thing because you got a baby YouTube videos. I press space just now to have all of them selected. And that's it for cheat engine. So what you want to do is don't score. When I try scoring after adding these points, it did not work for 5,000. Not going to say it's, well, actually it does work for 3,000. You can correct me, but no spam and look like a crybaby in the comments. It does work when you add 3,000, you score, but not with 5,000. It doesn't work period with 5,000. So let's just try to end the game as fast as possible. In the second half, you can actually sit down and with VC, the game is over and all that. So we gotta get through the first half first. Let's get through this first half. I'm gonna do a second game. I'm not gonna explain every little thing that I'm doing since I already did it in this one. So once I'm done explaining every tiny little thing, I'm gonna go straight through the second game and then boom, bayage. Let's get through these uh, animations. You can actually turn off the animations. I just kept them on. If you wanna speed this up, there's different ways to do it. There's other engines, other trainers and stuff like that. You can do whatever. I'm just using Chi Engine and Wii Mod. You can turn off all these animations big thing is you realize well, I got to point it out point out every single thing <laughs> you know you can tell I'm annoyed with this I'm letting the ball play I'm not pressing the buttons as fast as I can there's some patience you have to have so when you get the ball then you press it you don't press it when the ball's not in play when the ball's in play then you press f3 f4 I'm letting the game run I'm not trying to rush in and rush a VC. You have to have some patience when you do stuff like this. So let's go through. I'm doing as fast as I can. You can turn off the animations if you want or cut scenes to say better. You can choose not to ask to sit down for the rest of the game. You can play through and use F3. You can do whatever you want. But this is the main concept. I'm just pointing out every single little thing you can do. Let the let the ball come in. Because there's issues where it doesn't work. We don't let the ball come in. Let the ball play. And now you can ax to sit down. With VC. I want to save and quit my career. Something might happen. Actually, something will. Because then the cheat engine will probably look for other memories that it needs to look at. So I would just run straight through the game. No save and quit. Go through straight straight through the game. So let's spam A. I'm using controller. I feel like it. Spam A. You can do a lot of things. So you can keep the stats there. You can work on your finishing, shooting, playmaking, defensive rebounding. Right there, you see the amount of VC I just got. I got nearly 6,000 VC. It's crazy. This will count. Doing it with 5,000 points will not count. And we're at 34,327 of outstanding memories.